Hello everyone again, this is Shalu Kumar from Oski Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm an experienced Oski Nurse Trainer for the NMC Oski Exam in UK and also the lead trainer for Oski Nurse Training Cambridge. In today's video, I will be talking about uh, one of your uh, clinical skills in NMC OSCE exam and this time I will be talking about removal of urinary catheter which is one of your skill station in your OSCE exam. Okay, so if you like my videos, please press the like button now and also subscribe to my channel. It gives me a lot of motivation to keep making videos for you. Okay, uh, so let's talk about removal of catheter uh, station. So this is your eight minute station. Uh, so obviously the main thing is to deflate the balloon which is like a put on your uh, screen now deflate the balloon uh, of the catheter and remove the catheter so it is a eight minute station in your exam uh, it is a clean procedure you do not need to use any sterile gloves just the clean gloves will do and the apron uh, it is and also your examiner normally tell you that some of the pre-checks have already been done it means they may, your examiner will tell you that you have already you can assume that you have already done the id check with your patient your patient may have had already some pain relief and also your tray or trolley is clean ready to use okay so you do not need to repeat those steps in your exam okay so let's talk about uh, you know um, how we're going to do so i'm going in today's video i'm going to take you through the steps what you need to do in your uh, this station and also then give you my five top tips okay let's talk about the station so so first thing first like in every uh, OSCE station you're going to do the scene safety you're going to draw the curtain for privacy you are going to do your full hand hygiene uh, using who guidance and after that you can say that as per my briefing my id check has already been done so you do not need to repeat that you introduce yourself to the patient you explain what you're going to do and you take a valid consent now that's really really important you can check with your patient if they're allergic to anything i think that's very sensible and then again you're going to then talk about you already told them that you're going to remove the urinary catheter as per doctor's request so now you're going to have taken the consent now you will explain already to your patient about the post catheter symptoms it means what can they expect once the catheter comes out okay so normally patient can experience some burning sensation while passing urine frequency and urgency of passing urine so these are quite common post catheter symptoms but you should tell your patient about that so they already prepared for it if something uh, they experience anything then you can help them uh, and the next step will be obviously gathering your equipment so you make sure you check all the expiry date on your consumables your trolley and tray is already clean so that's fine check the expiry date on anything you're going to use uh, and then you're going to clean your hands and you're going to apply some gloves uh, and apron okay so once you have done that now you have the choice of cleaning the area so you're going to expose your patient minimally and then you will look at the area it means the urinary meters now you have two options you can either clean it uh, or you can uh, uh, the test centers do allow you to declare it socially clean but for that you have to inspect the area and say that the meters looks clean it's dry there is no discharge there is no foul odor so you're happy with it and you are declaring a socially clean so you will not be cleaning the area okay so that's really really important that if you're not going to clean then you inspect it and declare a socially clean so next thing will be con uh, on your next screen which is confirm your uh, with your assessor if they haven't already told you in your briefing or anywhere uh, in writing then ask your assessor to confirm how much water is in the balloon when it was inserted okay so how much water is inflated with because that's the amount you need to that's the volume you need to take out okay so you do need to do that and then after that you're going to obviously take your uh, open your syringe take your syringe and deflate the balloon port okay so you're going to deflate the balloon uh, with full if it was 10 mils in the balloon then you need to make sure you have full 10 mils out okay and you put that into clinical waste and then you take ask your patient to take a deep breath in and as they're exhaling you will remove your catheter gently uh, but firmly with continuous traction it means you're not going to stop start so you will just continue gently 
but firmly keep pulling the catheter out okay until it's fully out so then you're going to dispose it off in the clinical waste and then you're going to make sure the area is still dry that's really important that you inspect it again that there hasn't been any spillage and area is dry you can also advise your patient to clean the area first time they go to the bathroom okay so that's absolutely fine and then on your next screen what you need to do is uh, next step will be take your gloves off clean your hand take your apron off clean your hand make your patient comfortable that's really important make sure you put the covers back for privacy and dignity and then you're going to encourage your patient to drink two to five liter of fluids uh, to prevent any post catheter symptoms because that will really help so remind uh, remind your patient to do that uh, to drink two to five liter of fluid and also ask your patient to inform you when they're ready to pass urine because first few times you would like to measure it okay so that's really really important then you're going to do your final hand hygiene and you will verbalize that i will document everything clearly in my patient notes about this procedure of removing the catheter so that be end of your station okay now my five top tips the first tip is that make sure you do not touch any any tubing catheter or catheter bag without gloves and apron believe it or not this is the most common mistake in your uh, OSCE exam for this station and the most common fail so do not touch your catheter without apron and gloves on and second thing is second top tip is manage your time if your examiner has already told you that the pre-checks have been done make sure you don't repeat those pre-checks if the id check has been done don't repeat it if the trolley entry is clean do not clean it again okay so listen very carefully to your briefing from assessor because you're quite tight on time eight minutes do go very quick so time management is really important so concentrate on showing your examiner that you can do this skill accurately in eight minutes third thing will be making sure that you fully deflate the balloon okay so if your assessor tell you is 10 mils in the balloon uh, sterile water then that's exactly what you need to take out okay so it has to be fully deflated uh, it has to be full 10 mils because otherwise you are causing an injury to your patient removing the catheter with the not fully deflated balloon okay so it's really important that you fully deflate it and take full uh, volume of water out uh, tip number four is making sure that you inspect the area before and after that's really really important and tip number five will be like always make sure you know your marking criteria okay so just have a look at the marking criteria i have attached a marking criteria to the description of this video so you know that your marking criteria your step-to-step -step guide as well and you are following all the steps your examiner is expecting you to follow so that's really really important so these were my five top tips for this station uh, so hopefully i will see you soon with another station uh, another video from one of your another oski clinical skills um, so if you like my video please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel and also you can visit on, on us on oskinnurstraining.com i will soon be back with another video for clinical skills for you bye for now